Hey there, Zach Stone from electropereview.com. You're about to watch a short clip from our fall 2021 live class semester on Delta Connected three phase CTs for protection. Come check us out at www.electricalpereview.com to learn more about our live class for the Power PE exam. All right, same exercise except Delta Connected. Don't cheat. Stop looking at this. What? What kind of CT connection is this? Is this Delta or Y? Is this Delta or Y? Don't cheat. Don't look at this either. It's Delta. Yeah. How do we know? How do we know that this is a Delta connection? First of all, there's no neutral, right? Can I trace it? Let's see. Here's... A through my AC through my A phase CT, right? Down to some point. I'm gonna stop here for a second. Look, maybe this is oh, this is B, right? So here's B. Now I'm going through my B phase CT down to some point here. What point is this? Uh oh, this is C through my C phase CT and back to A. I just made a triangle, didn't I? I just made one big triangle. Right, look, from A, from A, through my A, C, A phase CT to B, right? From A, through my A phase CT, back to B, I'm at B. From B through my CT on B phase, now I'm at C, right? From B through my CT on B phase to C. Now at C through my C phase CT back to A, right? At C through my CT, my C phase CT, tongue twister, back at A. One big triangle, right? A, B, C. Now, are there any leading or lagging 30 degree phase shifts in the current entering? In the current, Daniel says no, Matt says yes. Anyone else? In other words, how do I calculate, let's call this uh, IACT? The CTs are acting as a source. So I've got what? Plus, minus, right? Plus, minus, plus, minus. So I've got, here's my current in that direction, in this direction, in this direction. From here to here is this same current entering the A phase for the CT. But inside this delta connection of my CT, I've got current from B to A and current from A to C. Can I write a, what happens if I write a KCL formula right at node A? What's going to happen? Or if I just think about this, if I forget that these are CTs for a second, I just think about a delta connection. Oh, not brown, let's get black. Let's call this I line. And let's call this, this one right here is I phase. If this is my delta phase current, where's my line current? Is it leading or lagging? It's lagging. And is it bigger or smaller? It's bigger. Here's I line. In other words, from I phase to get to I line, I've got to do two things. From I phase to I line, first, I've got to lag by 30, 30 degrees, and I've got to multiply by square root of three. Right? Line current leaving a delta connection equals the square root of three times the magnitude of the phase current in the delta 
with a negative 30 degree phase shift. That makes sense. So let's assume, uh, what we do last time, 900 to five, assume that's our CT ratio. The CT ratio is known and the line current is known. We'll just, we'll just use magnitude I line. How do I calculate the actual current entering the A phase of the relay? What is uh, complex IACT? Or in this case, really, actually let's call this relay, IA relay to differentiate between the current circling in the CT. How about that? What is IA relay? First, let's take our line current. Here's our line current on the A phase, I line. Let's step it through the CT, okay? How do I step the line current through the CT? First, here's that magnitude. I'm stepping down, bigger number goes on where? You got a GS five over 900. When I've gone from I line to the current from B to A on the secondary of the CT inside that Delta, I've just stepped through the ratio of the first CT. Have I changed the angle yet? Have I changed the angle? No, right? In other words, uh, let's see, here's our voltage plus minus plus minus. So we just calculated this volt or this current right here, right? Going to A. We just calculated I, we'll call that CT dash BA if we want to get really crazy, right? That's this guy right here. Same thing, right? How do I go from the current going up at node A to the current leaving node A and feeding the relay? What two things happen? What two things happen? Square root of three and negative 30 degrees. Great job, Matt. Yeah, we got to multiply by the square root of three. And whatever the angle is, we've got to lag it by 30 degrees. This right here is the current. How about uh, secondary CT current? in the delta connection, right? Phase. I line step down by five to 900 is this current from B to A. To leave the delta, we gotta multiply by the square root of three, right? We gotta make Try it one more time. Hang on. We got to make, uh, here we go. Here's, here's the phase current on the secondary of the CT inside the delta. To leave the delta gets bigger by the factor of square root of three, and then it lags by 30 degrees. It's just your delta of relationships. Does that make sense? All right. So now... Mo said, shouldn't it be I phase then? This is I phase right here. From here to here, right? From here to here is your secondary CT delta phase current. When we multiply these secondary CT delta phase current by the square root of three, and we lag it by 30 degrees, now we just left the delta connection, and now we're entering the relay. Let's see how this applies to differential protection of a three-phase transformer. Hey, that's it for this short video. We hope you enjoyed. If you'd like to learn more, or if you're interested in joining our live class for the Power PE exam, please visit us at www.electricalpereview.com. We'll see you soon.